everyone I hope you're having an amazing day so today I'm gonna have a casual chat about should you be learning Salesforce in 2021 right so we are almost uh, near to the end of 2020 um, so I thought is it really worth learning uh, Salesforce in 2021 right so uh, this video or I would say that's this uh, today's topic you can you know it's 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 not limited to a salesforce consultant or developer uh i would like to talk to broader audience today right if you are someone who never heard about the salesforce or someone who planning to get into salesforce this video is definitely for you so check it out so before i start this uh session today I just wanted to make a disclaimer this video is not sponsored by salesforce no one asked me to do that so this is not a marketing video so it's it's all based on my personal opinion right okay cool now you must be thinking right if you are someone who never worked with the salesforce you might have heard uh, about salesforce maybe from your co-worker uh, who is working on a different project uh, which involves salesforce or maybe you are you might have heard from your mates who are working with salesforce platform and you might wonder, right, hmm, what is the Salesforce? Or you're someone who been uh, asked to work on Salesforce in a, as a part of a new project requirement, right? Um, so you must be wondering, is it really worth learning Salesforce? And what is Salesforce, right? First of all, let me answer your first question. What is Salesforce, right? Salesforce is the world number one CRM platform, right? Customer relationship management platform, right? And now why it is called world number one, right? Because the Salesforce has almost 19% of the market share compared to all other CRMs in the world. There is a Microsoft CRM, there are other, other CRMs, right? They are all great CRMs, but Salesforce seems to, you know, growing at a very, very, very faster pace, right? So think about this, right? If you are, if you wanted to uh, set up a business process, right? If you wanted to run your uh, entire uh, company process, you can do that using a Chromebook. You heard that right. You can do that just merely using a Chromebook. That's all infrastructure that is required, right? Because Salesforce is a SaaS platform. That's a software as a service. What that means is you don't need to have any hardwares or any you know fancy uh, software installation. Uh, pretty much nothing, right? All you need to have an internet browser and connection to internet. You can't even use your uh, cell phone right you can use your iphone you can use your android you can use your ipad or you know whatever tablets you have or you can uh, in, like i said you can use chromebook right so everything is cloud-based right so you don't have to worry about infrastructure cost isn't that cool isn't it amazing and the data is very secure right if you're someone uh who, who works with on-premise right so you must be thinking mm, what about the data security uh, Salesforce takes the data security very, very, very seriously, right? So you don't have to worry about your data privacy issues there, right? Okay, so now you must be thinking, right? If you're a business consultant, right? You've never seen Salesforce before. What is the best place for me to get started, right? How do I get started into Salesforce? It's a very common question. You know, I've been asked, you know, even I was thinking about it when I wanted to get into Salesforce. The, the, to answer your question, the best place for you to start learning is using Trailhead. Now, you must be wondering, Trailhead, right? What does that mean? Sounds like a fancy word, but doesn't make any sense. Okay, so Trailhead is like an open university, right? Think about it like an open university, online learning platform, absolutely free, right? Okay, let, let me show you what I mean by that. So go to Trailhead, go to Google, just type Trailhead, right? It will tell you something like Trailhead, the fun way to learn, right? It'll take you something like this. You All you have to do, you have to, you know, sign up. It's free, right? And then you can start learning, right? So in Salesforce, right, uh, before we jump into the Trailhead, I wanted to talk about a little bit about admin, developer, all the stuff you can do. It doesn't matter that uh, you are not a programmer or your architect. Uh, Salesforce caters for everyone, right? Let's say you are a functional consultant, right? You must be thinking, look, I can't code. That's absolutely fine. You, nobody asks you to code, right? So there are a lot of functional consultants who works on Salesforce or business consultants or a 
or, you know, or whatever other names you wanted to give, right? So for them, you know, I would always encourage them to start with the admin, right? It doesn't matter you are what consultant you are, technical consultant, functional consultant, architect, doesn't matter. Always start with the admin, right? Administration pathway is the best. So you must be thinking, hang on, what are you talking about admin time? So administration, when I talk about administration, right, it's about how to you know manage the Salesforce system, right? Without writing a single piece of code. In other words, you are trying to work, when you work on Salesforce, right? Obviously you need to know how the Salesforce works, right? It's a platform, it's a big ecosystem, right? You need to know different stuff around Salesforce, how to get your stuff around, how to get the work done in simple term in Salesforce without writing a single piece of code. That's where your administration knowledge comes very handy. So Salesforce has a, um, you know, the, so Trailhead has different modules where you can learn, right? So that's where I, uh, that's where I mentioned that you can use Trailhead to learn your Salesforce, right? So all you have to do, say you have a nice search uh, box here, right? Just look for admin, right? <clears throat> and it will give you a auto suggestion, right? You look for admin beginner, right? So you will get something like this, right? Uh, you know, obviously, if I can see it, you can see, it. so you can. Uh, right so start with ad admin beginner I'll show you how it works okay so click here right so start with the first part right so the beauty about it is right it, it, it teaches you in a very unique way so it's very different to other learning you might have used to it the, the reason why I'm saying is it's like playing game right if you right so now you must be wondering what are you talking about playing game and learning right so that's that's what the trailer is all about that's why the trailer is so fun to learn it gives you see you need to read about this right so it talks to you about why you should use sales or give you a, a a business scenario right it, it will it it works with you by creating a, a a scenario and then you try to solve the problem associated with the scenario right and then you don't even have to uh you know uh, worry much about you know creating your own scenario because sales was does that for you and then it gives you why you need to do sales and at the same time it does give you a little bit about um, a, a, a video lecture as well where you can uh, pretty much go and watch what they wanted to say right and then uh, something you know something like this let me play it for you right so how to create a custom field in Salesforce fields are how Salesforce keeps track of separate pieces of information for each contact, for instance, there are different fields for name, address, title, and so on. But we know your business has unique needs, so Lightning Experience makes it easy to create custom fields so you can track any information you need to run your business. So you see something like that, you know, uh, Salesforce talks about it, uh, gives you more information about, you know, if you're someone who's interested, uh, you know, uh, to know more about it, you can watch the video lectures. And then once you finish your uh, learning, the Salesforce often gives you a hands-on challenge, which is the best way because they give you a scenario. They ask you to implement something, right? Uh, so that's so. Once you do that, once you pass it, you will get uh, uh, probably um, 500 points, right? And so that's how you build up your points. Right, and then uh, once you build up the points, you can tell your mates, "Hey, look, I'm building up a point." It's like, like playing a game, right? At the same time, you know, having fun, learning and having fun at the same time, in simple terms, right? And once you finish that, uh, it will take you to the next task, which probably will be this one: discover use case for the platform. So <clears throat> this is how you need, you know, you go through each and every module, uh, and you can. Uh, register for an org so because you might be wondering right okay is salesforce free it's not free you need to pay a fee for it but for your own practice salesforce gives you a developer org which is absolutely free now you must be thinking but i'm not a developer yeah that's fine you're not a developer so that's what they call the org is org is uh it's like a organization right so so you go and register for their site and they will give you username you know you have to register with a username and, and then then we'll give you to then we'll let you to reset your password and then you're in so once you're in you will see something like this it's a free org right and then I'm using it for free and um, 
Uh, it's usually Salesforce give it for life. You can use it whatever you want, right? And it's your work. You don't have to pay even a single penny, right? So that's fantastic. It's good for you to practice and prepare for other stuff. Cool? Right. So that's about the admin side, right? Now, so if you're someone who's be thinking, oh, but I'm not an admin, right? I'm, I'm a developer. That's fine. You still need to know about the admin side because the beauty of the Salesforce is, right, you don't have to use the code at most of the time, right? You can use a lot of the stuff in Salesforce without writing a single piece of code. That being said, there are scenarios where you have to write a code now, right? Say, let's say you are a C-Shell developer. I tell you my story, right? Three years ago, if you met me three years ago, if and if you start talking to me about Salesforce, I would have like, hmm, I have no idea what he's talking about, mate, because I've been working with .NET, right? And I mean, I, I've seen Salesforce here and there, but I haven't had much exposure with the Salesforce, right? Now, so when I joined this current uh, place, right? And, you know, I've been fortunate that I got exposed to Salesforce and, you know, got, got into it, right? Now, what is isn't for developers, right? Salesforce offers you a lot of opportunities in terms of development, right? The first is that you need to know Apex. So Apex is an object-oriented language uh, which runs on the cloud, right? You don't have to install, you don't need an ID, you don't, well, you can use an ID like um, uh, Visual Studio uh, code, right? And Apex usually runs in the cloud. So if you, uh, it's unlike C Sharp. So it's an object-oriented programming language, same like C Sharp. Right, and the only thing is that um, the, the the framework is uh, is compact, right? It's not huge, like C sharp. We don't have to remember a lot of stuff, right? And then if you that and you can use a lot of uh, server side processing using Apex, which is fantastic. And then uh, Salesforce has its own uh, SQL language, which is similar to SQL, which is something called SQL Query, right? Uh, if you're someone who came from a uh, you know database background, you might find a little bit strange with Salesforce because you can't use select star from, there's no such thing. Because the reason why you can't, it's a multi-tenant architecture, right? Now, multi-tenant means that resources are shared, right? It's not like you will get every resource you want. So Salesforce does that for a reason. So I'm not talking in detail about Salesforce, so please, you know, excuse me if I use jargons here and there. And because my main intention is to include every audience, right, who's interested in Salesforce, who has never seen Salesforce before, okay? So this is about Apex, right? Now, you might say, look, I have a JavaScript experience. That's even fantastic if you have web experience. You can use JavaScript in Apex, right? Sorry, in, um, in Salesforce. Your uh, knowledge of JavaScript will be very essential if you are doing a front-end development, right? So you have something called, uh, we got something called, a lightning component development in Salesforce, which uses JavaScript, right? You can uh, write your own JavaScript helpers. You can write your own JavaScript, uh, you know, functions, right? And you can use in your lightning bundle. So there are a lot of things a developer can get out of it, right? And if you are someone who wanted to be an architect, then you need to know admin as usual. You need to have a little bit of programming experience, right? Uh, usually you can't be a Salesforce architect in, you know, in, in, a, in a two years time. It's too early, right? Uh, because if you haven't worked with the Salesforce before and aspiring to be a Salesforce architect in two years, a little bit difficult. It's like saying a newborn is, a newborn wants to compete with Olympics, you know, in a, in a running competition, right? First of all, the, the kid has to learn how to walk, then how to run then practice for Olympics, right? So that's how it is in Salesforce. You need to do uh, one step at a time, right? So I, I hate to say this to you, but this is how it is, right? In every technology, right? If you can't be an Azure uh, solution architect without knowing anything about Azure, right? You need to understand nitty gritty stuff first, right? Cool. Um, okay, that's about Salesforce in general. Now there's something which is I wanted to talk about now, you must be thinking, oh, yeah, this is great. Now, why should I study Salesforce at first place, right? You know, it's like just another technology. That's right. It's like another. But the demand of Salesforce is so huge, right? Let me show you about something about the salary range, right? Let me show you the senior developer Salesforce salary in UK. Uh, senior Salesforce developer salary UK. You tell me, is this a good pay or is it a very bad pay? 65 right? 65,000 pounds, right? Let me say the salary in the US, I, I'm not sure how it is. 
Uh, so almost 104K, you know, it's not bad, right? In New Zealand, you make pretty much close 90K plus, right? It's not a bad pay at all. If you're a consultant, you will make even more, right? So Salesforce is in huge demand, a lot of job openings in the future, right? So think about it if you have something which you're interested, if you wanted to get into it, you know, uh, you know, it's a great platform. Like I said, you can have, you, you can build the entire business using a Chromebook. That's the, you know, advantage of having a, a cloud technology in a SaaS platform, right? And one thing is very popular in Salesforce is the certification, right? Uh, people talk a lot about certification. You will meet a lot of people that insist you to have certification. Most of the companies will ask for it. So that's a great place for you to start learning, right? So what do you do? Go to Google, just to go to Salesforce certification path. It takes you to, to this document, fancy looking, right? Um, so if you're someone who's aspiring to be a, a great Salesforce admin, right? So you probably have a look at um, the following certification that administrator, advanced administrator, CPQ, platform app builder, right? So now you must be thinking, right, how do I learn for certification, right? Uh, where do I get a guidance to learn Salesforce certification, right? So your answer to that question is Trailhead. You will get everything in Trailhead, right? Let me give you a very simple example. Let's say uh, I wanted to do Salesforce developer certification, right? There's something called Platform Developer One. So I can say Salesforce Platform Developer One uh, certification. And mind you, there's one more thing I wanted to talk about it, which is, so you come here, right? And it gets you the exam guide, right? And uh, so exam guide will tell you about the, the contents you need to study based on the percentage, right? Uh, it takes some time for whatever reason, right? So you can go here and it tells you how much it costs, 200 USD, right? And you can say 65% to pass, right? And then you can go to this prepare for Salesforce platform and then, um, right? And then you can learn all the stuff here, right? And you can go through each one and you'll be pretty much ready. And there's something called a super badge. It's like very, very good way for you to uh, learn the stuff, uh, which is about, um, um, it's like, they give you a business scenario and, and ask you to solve a problem inside the scenario or based on the scenario, right? Which is fantastic, right? And there's something which is very fishy, very shady in the market. That's the, that's a dumps, right? You might hear people talking about the dumps, right? That's one of the thing I wanted to show or talk about. I'm, I'm not in the favor of using dumps, right? It's not a great way to learn anything because dumps is like a cheating. There's no point, right? Because you're not honest to, to yourself about it if you're using dumps right someone will find out right you know based on how much you know this stuff right you can cheat your way in the certification that's fine i'm not saying it's fine you might think that's fine right but when you go for a job interview you might even clear that but when you do the actual work when you hit the real scenario that's where the real problem comes in the picture right so you need to be uh, very careful about what you're trying to do at the same time right you need to be uh it's like you need to be honest to yourself would you really want to learn the platform or would you want to cheat the platform right so that's something you need to answer yourself okay right and there's one thing i wanted to talk about which is very popular in salesforce is integration you can integrate salesforce with the third party system you can integrate with jira you can integrate with sap you can integrate with, you name it right so if you are a programmer, if you like integration, this is something you will be interested in. So there are a lot of things you can learn. And one thing, I just wanted to make a humble request. When you start first time, you might get overwhelmed. You will say, oh, it's pretty much mongus. How do I learn the entire system? You can't. The answer is you can't. Even the people who work with, uh, with Salesforce, they don't know everything about the system. It's, and platform is evolving every day. Right, they they and Salesforce do three releases a year, right? And then you can't uh, expect you to do know every single thing out of it. You know, you need to know certain aspect of it and be good at it, right? And that's all you know. People expect you to know. They don't expect you to know entire platform. If if an employer expects you to know everything, they are silly. They themselves don't have no freaking idea about how the Salesforce work at first place, 
in my opinion. And that's not even the best place to work at first place, right? Because they are being, uh, you know, they are being demanding to the point which they themselves don't understand what they really want at first place, right? I'm sorry being not, don't want to be rude here, but I just sometimes I just find the people, you know, I don't know how they expect. It's like I've seen a job advert uh, somewhere uh, about Salesforce. They said, oh yeah, lightning experience. You need to have at least 12 years of writing experience that's absolutely BS because the lightning came into picture like few years ago. And how the heck someone expects you to have 15 years lightning experience? That means that person have no freaking idea what they want in the first place, right? So such kind of places you strictly avoid, right? It's not worth it, right? So that's my perception, right? All right. So I hope you would have got some uh, benefit out of today's session, right? Uh, so thank you very much for attending. So adios from New Zealand. Bye-bye.